to my channel uh, in today's video I'm just gonna do a really cute toddler style it's just uh, two ponytails with twists um, and some piggyback tails uh, but it's pretty pretty easy uh, I think anybody could do this style and I'm doing my you know using my go-to products I am using the LCO method I'm applying a leave-in conditioner then a cream base. I use the Shea Moisture Kids um, buttercream. And I'm going to top that with olive oil. And then I'm going to go in with my style. And that's it. parted it in like a, a zigzag down the middle um, yeah and what I'm using to moisturize her scalp is my go-to the blue magic uh, organics castor oil y'all I'm gonna look for uh, some more products because I know I sound like a broken breaker <laughs> but I just use what works and until I find something that works as good I'll probably be using this but anyway so here's where I'm going to put my little uh, piggyback ponytails. Um, I'm going to do three or four little piggybacks just to add a little, you know, character to the style so that it doesn't look so boring. black rubber bands uh, once again I know some people have issues with those rubber bands they think that they cause breakage or whatever um, that's fine you can use the clear elastic ones those are supposed to be more gentle or you could do the colored ones I think the colored ones would actually be really cute for this style but you know to each his own
note, uh, when you're doing these piggyback tails, be sure to make sure you're not pulling too hard on that, that front ponytail. I hope that that makes sense what I'm saying. Like I, I go through and I kind of pull each pony out just a little bit to make sure that there's not too much tension on that first ponytail because that can cause breakage. So just be mindful of that when you're doing this style. On the side of these piggyback ponytails, this is just a flat twist. Um, it's super easy. It's, it's just like a two strand twist, except you're grabbing a little bit of hair along the way, kind of like a braid, but of course, instead of a braid, it's a twist. But it's really easy. This is perfect for struggle braiders or people who, you know, just cannot braid. I'm almost positive you will be able to do this twist because it is so easy. So for the ponytails, you could do whatever with this. I'm gonna just twist up her ponytails and put barrettes on the end, but you could do little buns. If your child has, you know, long, longer hair, um, you could do little buns or uh, you can leave them Afro puffs. That would be cute. You know, make this style your own. In the back, I'm gonna do those same piggyback ponies that I did in the front, and I'm gonna pull it into the other ponytail, and I'm also gonna do a flat twist along the side of that one as well, and we're gonna pull it up into that second ponytail.
putting these cute little bobbles on there because I was afraid those rubber bands were gonna break. As you can see, Journey has a lot of hair and that's why I use rubber bands to begin with because it's the only thing that'll keep her hair together. But uh, yeah, I did end up going back and putting these little bobbles on there. Yeah, I thought that was cute. And this is the finished look. Yeah, I think she likes it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.